What's up, y'all? We're back out here in the garage this week, as you can see, which means we got some more ammo to take a look at. It's been a few weeks, so I've actually got a couple of different care packages and a pretty decent little pile of stuff I picked up from a local shop. So before I jump into it and show you what we got, if you would, take a second and reach down and click that follow, like, subscribe button, and make sure you've got those notifications turned on so you don't miss anything that I upload. So let's start off with a couple of care packages. The first thing I got here is some 44 specials sent to me by Balance for Daylight. We look at the mats 250 grain hp snub nose 44 special now these are designed to be run out or de designed to perform out of shorter barrels i believe like a two and a half is what they get their test info from so looking at a big old wide cavity there on this lead hp so hopefully it'll be some good stuff i've got a couple of different shorter barrels i'm gonna run this out of first and then i may do a follow-up with a couple of longer ones but should be really interesting to see what this 44 special does so big thanks to him for sending that out and then next Next up, I've got a few things sent to me by Steel Punisher. So again, big thanks to him for that. First up, we got the Winchester Big Bore in 44 mag here. 240 grain semi-jacketed HP. Uh, take a look at it here. Brass case, as you can see, got your projectile there, semi-jacketed. 44 mag, I mean, <laughs> it's hard to go wrong with a 44 mag unless there's just something terribly, terribly wrong with it. So I expect some really good results from this. I'll have to decide what kind of testing to do with this, whether to put it up against something else, a big bore, or just a couple of different barrel lengths. But either way, that should definitely be a good one. And then next up, he sent me a box of Underwood 10 mil that kind of makes me sad here. It's the 10 mil 180 grain bonded, as you can see, bonded JHP. This is the gold dots, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, gold dots, as you can see there. As y'all know, they do not even offer the gold dot load anymore. So I'm definitely going to test these without a doubt. But I'll be a little sad the whole time I'm doing it, knowing that you can't get them no matter what the results are. And then the last thing from him, or at least I think this was from him too. I've been moving stuff around so much. I don't know if I just set this in there, but it's some Federal Punch in 40 Smith & Wesson, 165 grain. The reason I say I don't know if he sent this is because I've got two or three boxes of this, and I think I have tested this before in the past. I'll have to look back and see what kind of testing I did, and maybe it needs a follow-up or maybe some different barrel lengths. But if you didn't send this, that's my bad, but I'm pretty sure he sent this also. And then next up, I actually picked up one thing from PSA. I actually wasn't going to get this stuff, but I've had several different people ask me about it now. It's the Norma MHP 9 mil, but it's this 85 grain that they're offering now. I'm assuming this is a new offering because I haven't seen it before in 9 mil. Um, I have tested it in 380 with this 85, and it's the same projectile. It is the same exact projectile I'll show you here in a second now. The 9 mil, obviously, it was 108 before, and I wasn't going to pick this up again because those were both very, very inconsistent, so it's nothing that impressed me at all. And on top of that, the numbers on this stuff doesn't make any sense. So you got an 85 grainer here at 1310 when the original 9 mil offering was 108 at 1312. However, y'all do know the, the sketchy, sketchy at best marketing here. That's out of a six inch barrel that they got this 1312. Now, this doesn't have anything about test barrel and I can't find any information about it anywhere as far as test barrel or really much of anything at all. I've looked all over the place. So maybe they're being, you know, more realistic here. We'll find out. But even on this 380 version, this same 85 grain projectile, this is showing 1280. And this also says from a six inch test barrel so this is at least faster here so i don't know if it's, it's six inch again with this stuff or what it is but we will find out as you can see here it's really the only difference is this is no longer nickel plated with the black coating on it you still this is the same projectile in that 85 grain or so i don't have real high hopes at all for this stuff i don't think it's going to do terrible but i don't think it's going to be anything to brag about and then i actually ended up getting a pretty decent little variety from my local shop over these last couple of weeks they first thing they got is a big old pile of leo trade-in 40 smith and wesson hst they actually got in the two weights that i didn't already have i already had a pretty good pile of the 180 but this time they got actually some 155 and 165 now as far as i can tell the 155 is not even offered anymore now they do offer the 165 this is the current leo offering here as far as besides the 180 anyway so 165 here 155 this is all the 155 they got so 
I just bought all the boxes they had because I get a really good deal on this Leo Trade stuff. Not because I think this is better than the 165. I think the 165 is probably going to end up better than this right here. Probably about even though. As far as velocity and energy, they're within like five pounds or something like that. But either way though, as y'all know, you can never go wrong with HST. So nice nickel plated case there with that nice HST projectile. Really, really wide open in there. So HST and 40 Smith & Wesson, that's bound to be good performance out of both of these. I'll probably run them both together out of the shorter barrel just to see which one of these medium lightish weight 40 Smith & Wessons are going to be better. So anyway, it was six boxes of the 155 and then two boxes I grabbed of this 165. And then next up, I actually found some underwood that I hadn't tested in there yet. They've been getting a lot of underwood, so I'm trying to make sure that there's none of it that I hadn't tested yet. And sure enough, I found some of this 147 plus P9 mil that I, I've, for whatever reason, I've never tested. I have tested the plus P plus, but not just the regular 147 plus P. I think this is the Nosler projectile. Don't quote me on that. I'll find out before I test it, but ended up getting one box of this because that should be some good stuff, even though it's heavyweight. And then I went ahead and grabbed a box of this right here just because I think I showed y'all this in the last video I did, but I didn't end up grabbing any, but figured I might as well just because it's a cool box and it's a combo and it's good to see and, and see if they are being honest about the velocities and, and uh, point of impacts matching up. So what we got here obviously is the Federal Premium Practice and Defend Combo Pack with 50 of the Syntec training rounds and then 50 of the HST 124 grainers. So as you can see here, we've got the Syntec on the top, got that polymer coating on the lead projectile, cool purple color on it. So that's another bonus, at least it's a cool purple color. And then of course on the bottom row, you got the HST there, nice nickel plated case with the 124 HST. So I don't think there's any doubt that these are gonna perform well, but it'll be interesting to see, like I say, as far as velocity and point of impact. And moving along from there, they've actually recently picked up a bunch of new S and B of just several different calibers, some new stuff that I didn't have. So I picked up a few boxes of it. We'll start off here with a couple of boxes of 20 gauge. Both of these are the same. It's number two buck, 20 gauge, two and five eighths inch, 12 pellet, number two buck. I don't have much 20 gauge at all. It's the one I have the least of as far as shoddy ammo. So picking up a little 20 gauge when I can, as you can see, you can't see a whole lot there, but you can see the pellets through there. Number two is a real good load, I think for 20 gauge. So this ought to be some good stuff. I do plan on doing a lot of shoddy tests and I'm just trying to let it cool off just a little bit because that heat is rough out there trying to move back and forth. And then the next one's actually some 12 gauge, but it's some rubber ball stuff. As you can see, 12 gauge, two and five eighths. It's two rubber balls, 15 millimeter diameter. So I'll show you here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff. I've actually got some more of these specialty type rounds like this that's got some rubber ball, uh, some other different rubber projectiles and stuff like that. So I need to figure out what kind of test to do. The gel is not is going to be a waste of time because it's just going to bounce off the gel. So I got to figure out what to do with these, but it should be some interesting stuff when I finally figure that out. And then since I grabbed a little bit of 20 and 12, I figure I might as well finish it off with a couple boxes of 410 here. So this is definitely some new stuff that I don't have anyway. It's triple alt buck. So always glad to find any kind of buck as far as 410. 410, two and a half here, three pellets of triple alt buck. There you can see 25 rounds of it. You can see the pellet in the end, three pellets of, uh, like I say, triple alt buck. Again, any kind of 410 buck, really of any kind, I'm grabbing anytime I see it. It's a little easier to come by than it has been, but it's still not the easiest thing to find, especially stuff like buck and slug sometimes. And then next up, still with the s and I actually grabbed a box of s and 124 grain 9 mil HP. Now, I don't have any kind of good hopes for this stuff. I haven't tested the 124, but I have tested the 115, and I'm pretty sure the title to my video was New Leader for the Worst 9 mil Ever, because it was absolutely terrible. There's nothing good to say, though. I'm pretty sure it was the 115 that I tested anyway. So 124, I mean, that, that right there to me is giving it even less chance to perform well, but hopefully it'll be different than that 115 was. And then staying with the 9 mil for this next one, still the S&B, this 
is their Exergy defense rounds. Nine mil, I believe this is 100 grain. Yeah, 100 grain, they're saying 13, 12 there. Now I have tested this. This is a solid copper expander. This is their uh, copper expanding line. I have tested this in 380 and I can't really remember, but I would assume it did fine just short on penetration. Most of the time, that's what you get with these copper expanders. They usually expand really, really nicely, but they're almost always lightweight, as you can see here, 100 grain. So the penetration normally suffers other than just a few cases that I've tested. Maybe this will be one of those cases. So I got one box of that to check out. And then last thing from there is the same but different. As you can see, again, it's the S&B Exergy, but this time it's in 45 ACP. This is 165 grain, so light for 45 ACP, but not extraordinarily light like the nine sometimes is in 380. Um, again, 165, they're saying 1148 on this. I expect this to do well there's really no doubt that it'll do well good gracious after seeing that opening yeah this this is definitely going to expand well no really doubt in my mind the only doubt and question is what kind of penetration and uh, if you'll notice one really good thing about these these are a pretty good deal on them and they're 25 round boxes so that's always a good thing same with the nine 25 round box and that's going to do it for this one y'all so again a pretty good variety of stuff here some new things to test and some some kind of new old things to test there's a little bit bit different but the same so should be some really interesting stuff let me know down in the comments what y'all think what you're looking forward to seeing tested what kind of pickups you might have got in y'all's area again make sure you reach down and hit all those buttons all of that stuff really does help make sure you subscribe and followed i'm starting to uh, kind of duplicate my content over on the green place too if you get my drift so if y'all want to check that out over there i'd appreciate that again a big thanks to all my range gang members and every single one of y'all for supporting the channel i've got a lot more really good stuff coming so stay tuned for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon